Yo, I'm then just wishing my one, daughter a public right. happy birthday. I wasn't allowed to know where her party was. There's nothing legal. They're saying that these are the kind of games that's being played. At the light, it's the kind of thing that right aviation really has bar. affected my health for the longest. Uh, and I'm just not playing. I'm not letting, I'm taking control of my narrative this year. I'm being the father, the best father, the yay version of a father. And I'm, I'm not finna let this happen. In and we're gonna be mile, in real time take a slight right this, turn onto I right here. North. Chicago, happy birthday. I love you. And I'm just putting this online because I need y'all support. I didn't call Kim, text the nannies. I got on the phone with Tristan. He he said, he asked Chloe, won't nobody give me the address to my daughter's birthday party right now. And that's going to imprint in her mind that I wasn't there for her. You get what I'm saying? Like, I ain't, this, uh, this, I was supposed to be in Miami recording my album. I'm, my whole schedule is all based around me being able to take my kids to school, me being there for them, making sure that I'm in their life. That's the whole point of having money. They take so many fathers just throughout America. They've been taking the fathers out of the homes purposely. So I'm speaking up. I'm using my voice to say, this ain't gonna keep happening. This narrative ain't not gonna happen. It's a lot of people that's not in a position where they ain't got no voice when people be playing games like this. Baby mamas be playing games. The grandma would be playing games like this. And it's like, as y'all know, they ain't finna play like that with, with me. Huh. Yo, I'm so happy right now. I just came from Shy's party. And I just got a shout out to Travis Scott for sending me the address and the time and making sure that I was able to spend the spend that birthday memory with my daughter to be there with the rest of the family. And I just saw everybody. It was, uh, you know, Chris and Corey and Kylie. Kylie let me in right when I got to the spot because the security, you know, stopped me once again when I got there. And, you know, it's just a matter of just having a conversation open dialogue and it was just everyone just had a great time and i'm just really happy that i could be there for my children i just want to thank everybody for their support in this situation you know and just let me just calmly and legally take control of my narrative oh i know we disagree uh, people have different opinions on a lot of different things that i do but with this one this is my main focus my life centers around my children and i just had a great time today thank you everybody for their support peace check it, out, check it out now free hey man now people let me tell you this even if you're a goddamn billionaire in the united states of america just remember you can't beat the family court system and when you are a man even a billionaire is left to do what the brokest nigga alive would be doing when the mom of their kid prevents them from seeing the kid. You know what you do? You get on Instagram and you start crying into your phone. I can't see my kid. And that's what Kanye did, man. Kanye has a daughter with Kim Kardashian. Her name's Chicago, okay? Chicago West. And basically, they were having a birthday for Chicago West, okay? Except everybody was invited except Kanye, the father. Now think about all the people who they probably invited to this goddamn birthday party and not Kanye, okay? Of course, no pullout Tristan was there. Yeah, Tristan Thompson, of course that dude was in the building. Probably scouting out his next victim, okay? He probably looking at which one of Chloe's friends next he might have piped down, okay? Listen, man, who knows? Lamar Oda might have snuck in with a crack boulder. Who knows, okay? Everybody was in the building, man. I'm pretty sure even Pete. Davidson was probably wiping his, you know, powdery nose from time to time and walking outside the bathroom. Everybody was in the building, okay? But Ye was not invited. So Kanye was looking mad desperate as a billionaire, driving around, using Siri to try to direct him to God knows where, and trying to figure out how to get to his daughter's birthday party, okay? Now, luckily, and thank you to Travis Scott, Travis Scott actually told him the address of his daughter's birthday party. You know, it's crazy how they make it seem like, yo, Kanye is like a menace, okay? <laughs> Travis Scott tells him the address to the party. He shows up to the address. Security stop him. Security stops Kanye. Oh, you can't come into your daughter's birthday party, right? And Kylie Jenner has to tell the security, chill out, let him in. 
All right. Now they're treating Kanye like pretty much they've treated everybody the Kardashians has ingested and shot out. Okay. This is the time for them to ruin his reputation and paint him as a bum ass deadbeat father. Okay. That's just the Kardashian cycle. Everybody knows about it. Okay. Now, here's the thing. I know what some of y'all are saying. Well, didn't he just threaten to beat Pete Davidson's ass? And I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, he did. But let's be very clear. It's a different day and age in America when pretty much the father of a child is not invited to the child's birthday party because the boyfriend of a month and a half of the mom is in fear of a 44-year-old dude who got popular by wearing pink polo tees. Are you serious? So Kanye West can't show up to his daughter's birthday party because Pete Davidson is hiding in fear. What's going on out here, man? Now, I'm glad it worked out for you, but yay, this is only beginning, brother. They about to make you look crazy, okay? They about to say you're off your meds. And the crazy thing is this is all while you're the mother of your child getting her back blown out by some, some, some dweeb named Pete Davidson. What's going on in the world? Yo, Kanye, man, you probably thought once you became a billionaire, all the problems would stop, except it just started. Now you just a nigga with just a lot of money and resources, but you got the same regular problems as niggas in the hood. Baby mama drama, okay? I wish the best for Kanye West. From what I see, he wants to be a good father to his kids. However, his baby's mother... Don't seem like she want that fool around. Maybe it's because she feel like, yo, he just trying to get back with her. But regardless, you know who hurts in all of this? It's the kids. Sorry to say, man, but that's just what it is, man. Get in the comments. Make sure you guys like them. Subscribe. What do you guys think about this whole thing? Let me know.